what I'm going to do today is demonstrate a simple trick that I actually only discovered recently that is useful for positioning rag dolls or dead NPCs or just for realistic physics object placement. So what I'm going to do is look up skeleton in the all section. And I'm going to go for skeleton whole body rags. You can see here, I dragged it in like that. It's got this little thing next to it, which I think means that it's a physics object. Anyway, so I've got a skeleton. And ideally, I'd like him to lie down and interact with the environment around him, but you can see he's just standing up, which is a bit of a nuisance. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to here where it says HK, and there's a little bouncing ball, and click it, and the skeleton falls to the ground. So if you're not satisfied with the positioning, you can control Z control Z you can control Z oh for God's sake. Okay, so maybe you can't undo it. There we go. Oh we're still in the air. Oh okay. So if you're not satisfied with the placement, you can delete him and make and bring him back. Apparently you can't undo that. And say I wanted him to interact with this over here. I'd cl click click and drag him so he was close to the table. And see when I hit Havoc Sim, he will hit the table in a slightly realistic physics -y way, but not desperately realistic. And so that's it. That's useful for any physics object. So I could click and drag this can, I think, I've never done this before, and it falls to the ground like that, you see. And so that's useful for realistic object placement, for dead NPCs, for placing ragdoll skeletons, or just anything, just general stuff like that. I only discovered that recently and thought it was a useful trick, so I'll demonstrate it in the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Uh